Hello monkeys, today we're going to be carving mumpkins. Mumpkin carving is an ancient tradition passed down from generation to generation. As you can see, I picked out these beautiful pumpkins from the pumpkin patch of Walmart. And they'll be um, perfect for some mumpkin designs I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do a monkey design on one of these and my profile picture on another one. So I don't know how you guys carve pumpkins, but I just grabbed this roll of paper here so I could get a nice sized piece. And I just took this design that I already had on my iPad and I just traced over it because that was just the easiest thing to do. And that worked out pretty good. As you can see here. And for my next design, I didn't really have anything drawn up on the iPad, so I just drew it normally, which worked out fine as well. Ta-da! Alright, so it's actually been years since I've done any sort of mumpkin carving or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure the next step is to cut this top part off and gut it so we can begin carving. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make some marks around the top. Alright, so I'm just going to start scooping this out with my hands. I think that's the most effective way. Get all these seeds and guts out. Feels really nice. Especially when it gets under your fingernails. Uh, just a side note, I do not like the smell of the inside of Mumpkins. It, it, it's not pleasant. Like, it's, it's sweet, but it's also just like, ugh, it's gross. There it is. Hey, G. You want, you want to shake Mumpkin? What does that taste like? Make a sacrifice to the Mumpkin God. Feed Mumpkin Guts to my Mumpkin Dog. I'm Doc Lamps, the Mumpkin King. Carving Mumpkins for Halloween. Don't mess with Mumpkin, you might get carved. Try to eat my Mumpkin, I prefer if you starve. Everybody Mumpkin, before you die. Everybody jump in with the Mumpkin Guy. Everybody chime in with the Mumpkin Chant. Jaw Clamps rhyming with the Mumpkin Rap. Yeah, Mumpkin, everybody's dead. Doesn't really matter, I have a Mumpkin friend. Making Mumpkin Raps for retention. I hope this helped. Hold your attention. Be sure that you like and subscribe, or Mumpkin will find you and you might die. Hi, hello, um, I, I sincerely apologize for that, that rap that I just did. Uh, I don't know why I always feel compelled to, to make a song for every video that I do, but I should probably stop, because they're all really, really bad, and that might have just been the worst one I've ever done. So I apologize, let's just please move on from that and pretend it didn't happen. Um, if you didn't notice what I was doing, I was poking holes through the pattern, that way I knew where to start cutting. And now I've begun the process of cutting, um, and trying to avoid, uh, my dog eating any more mumpkin pieces that fall on the floor, which was a struggle. I quickly realized that mumpkin carving is a bit of a workout. I have not done it in a long time, but, uh, it was, it was a struggle trying to keep this in frame and trying not to block the camera. Uh, reaching over and carving it was it was not the most ideal situation but I persevered because we must do what we must for the mumpkin I think the smile came out a little crooked on this one but I think he's cute turned out all right I definitely recommend carving your own mumpkins it's a lot of fun uh, if it's too late this year then maybe just do it next year but um, I haven't done it in a long time, like I said, but it's something I'll definitely be doing from now on. Oh, 
Oh man, this design turned out to be way harder than the first one. All these teeth. I had to make so many marks. I was just using a little screw to poke all these little holes. My thumb was getting sore, and then by the time I started carving it, it was just, oh. It was a nightmare, to be honest, but uh, you, you gotta see the result. It turned out very, very cool, in my opinion. Anyways, do you guys have any cool Halloween stories? Any interesting trick-or-treat situations or spooky scenarios you found yourself in? Um, I was trying to think of one to tell for this part of the video, and the only Halloween story that comes to mind for me is one of the last times I went trick-or-treating, and I think I was like 12 or 13, and my parents were bringing us around town to trick-or-treat in different spots, and we went into a nursing home or something like that, just something where there was a lot of really old people, and you would line up um, by each old person and they would give you a piece of candy and I was standing in line and in front of this old lady in a wheelchair and by the time I got up to her I said trick or treat and she told me you're too old like saying I was too old to be trick or treating and I, I honestly was a little bit offended and in my mind I was thinking you're too old lady needless to say I have never been trick or treating since and I have turned into the Ebenezer Scrooge of Halloween Whenever I see children trick-or-treating, I yell at them to get off my lawn. True story. Not really. I'm just kidding. You guys ever get a bag of chips for Halloween? I heard some people complaining about that. Like, complaining about getting a bag of chips. I always loved that. Like, I was always, like, hungry halfway through trick-or-treating and candy wasn't cutting it. And you, you would get the bag of chips and then the one house would give you a soda and you could, like, eat your chips and your soda while you're like in between houses, it was perfect. I think my favorite Halloween candy of all time would have to be uh, those little gummy Krabby Patties. Those were always just super exciting to get and you rarely get them any other time of the year. It just seems like something you get on Halloween exclusively. I would trade all my candy for those. Let me know what your favorite Halloween candy is in the comments.